For centuries, a disease has ravaged the globe, visiting nearly all corners at one time or another. In Europe, so great was the threat of this disease, but in the early 18th century, the Pope commissioned one of his most trusted physicians to investigate. De Bovilla Peste is Giovanni Lanchisi's detailed study of the disease and represents the first concerted effort to control it. Historians believe that in 4th century Europe, the cattle disease Rinderpest may have contributed to the downfall of the Roman Empire. Since then, Rinderpest has killed hundreds of millions of cattle worldwide. Untreated, it kills within days, wiping out whole herds and causing devastating economic losses wherever it has taken hold. It was a bad disease. If the veterinary people didn't come, it would wipe out all the cattle that we owned. But now, a huge international campaign over the past generation has led to the announcement that Rinderpest has been wiped from the face of the earth. One of the amazing things about this achievement is that it's only the second time in the history of the world that a disease has been eradicated. One of the last pockets was in East Africa, where cattle are crucial to the whole community, and where this man was central to coordinating the program to eradicate the disease. In this episode, Dr. Dickens Chibeo, a veterinary epidemiologist from Kenya, is our Earth reporter. He tells a story of how one of the world's most destructive diseases has been stamped out after centuries of trying. A lot of people don't know, but the truth of the matter is that livestock contributes 30% of the agricultural GDP in Africa. And that is a very high contribution to the national economies. My name is Dr. Dickens Malanga Chibeu. I work for the Inter-African Bureau for Animal Resources, based here in Nairobi. I have spent the last 30 years of my life fighting for the eradication of rinderpest. This is how the disease looked like, there were mouth lesions. Eye discharges, diarrhea, and finally, death of the animals. It spreads like wildfire in animals that are, have no protection. So in a herd of 100 animals, you can lose them all within 10 days. When I was growing up, actually I grew up on a farm. My father was a farmer, and in this, 60s and 70s, uh, the veterinary department used to come and vaccinate animals during the month of August. And um, it wasn't after I joined the university that I realized that the disease that had been vaccinated against was rinderpest. This disease affected many people across the world, mostly pastoralists, people who depend on livestock for their livelihood. Some of my most fulfilling professional experiences have been out in the field searching for rinderpest. Rinderpest entered Eastern Africa in mid 1880s through the port of Masawa uh, in Ethiopia. The disease was actually brought in by the Italian army who had imported uh, cattle from all the way from India. And once it got into Ethiopia, it quickly spread in the whole of Ethiopia and all the neighboring countries. In Kenya here, the disease spread uh, southwards and um, landed even in Maasai land where we're headed to right now. We are here to meet Mzelangas, who lives in Old Shobo, behind Kenya's famous Ngong Hills. He has kept cattle for years, and this is a lifestyle that his children and grandchildren have inherited. Cattle mean a lot to the Maasai which is why their health is so important to them. 